Hi all, I'm Binsi here back with Medical Surgical Nursing Gender Urinary System, a small topic that is TB of urinary tract. Okay, TB, urinary tract, it is pulmonary tuberculosis. Oh madam, you have got mistaken. No, it is, the topic is correct, TB of gentle urinary tract. Okay, now how come is it possible? Gentle urinary tuberculosis is a secondary infection. Okay, the primary will be pulmonary tuberculosis, secondary will be TB of gender urinary tract. Okay, the causative agent will be same, mycobacterium tuberculosis. Now moving on to the pathophysiology, how come from lungs to kidney it is affecting is like through blood. Okay, the infection of the mycobacterium tuberculosis affecting the lung and from there through blood it reaches the kidney. Okay, once the bacteria is reaching the kidney, it is starting spread. Okay, one bacteria, if it is coming, it's starting to spread and it's it multiply in the size. Now, when one, one bacteria has come, it's starting multiply and it will become 10. Then it will become 20. Okay, multiplication of the bacteria. From there, it will be affecting the renal parenchyma. Okay, renal parenchyma. From there, it will be affecting the ureter, bladder, urethra. Fine, then signs and symptoms. Once it gets affected, once the spread of infection occurs, fibrosis and suture occurs. Suture is narrowing, okay? Because of that, signs and symptoms occurs. I hope pathophysiology is clear. If you want me to repeat, I'm repeating it, please. Once the infection is affected in the lungs, okay? Through blood, it is affecting the kidney. It is reaching the kidney. The bacteria will be also traveling through the blood to the kidney. And once it is reaching the kidney, it's starting multiplying. This, the bacteria gets multiplied and what happens is like it affects the renal parenchyma. From renal parenchyma, it will affect the ureter, bladder, urethra. Spread of infection occurs. Once the spread of infection occurs, it will be uh, forming strictures as well as scarring or fibrosis, dead cells. Okay, because of that signs and symptoms. Okay, I think I wanted to note you one thing is like an active tuberculosis patient. Okay. Active uh, gentle urinary patient, how we will be knowing is like from 5 to 25 years after first infection or after primary infection means if a person is affected with pulmonary tuberculosis, he will not affect get affected with gentle urinary tract in, uh, tuberculosis within a span. Okay, it will take few years. That will be like 5 to 25 years. Okay, now... Uh, moving on to the clinical manifestation, recurrent UTI will be there, okay, by urea, dysuria, hematuria, okay, then increased frequency, urgency, flying pain, then all symptoms will be there, but special symptoms which will be affecting in male and female is like, in male, there will be epididymitis, epididymitis, now you have to remember the reproductive system, epididymis get infected inflammation, okay, and prostrate enlargement, when that will be there, then scrotal pain, tenderness, fever and all will be present in male. Okay. And in female, uh, there will be PID. PID is pelvic inflammatory disease. Okay. Because of that fever, back pain, ectopic pregnancy. That's a new word for you. Okay. Ectopic pregnancy means the pregnancy or the uh, sperm and the ovum is few, fused in the fallopian tube okay usually it gets fused in the fallopian tube after that it has to travel and come to the uterus where uterus will be embedded the uh, psychot and it will help the uh, psychot or the baby to form fine here what happens is like it won't move from the fallopian tube it will be stuck there in the fallopian tube and the small small baby will be growing in the fallopian tube and later it the baby will also not be there. the zygote will also die as well as it gets the mother's health also and the fallopian tube can burst also in rare cases fine that is ectopic pregnancy then diagnostic evaluation, physical examination, history collection, physical examination, urine test. Usually morning test will be accurate. Okay, because of that we will understand or we will see the presence of mycobacterium in the urine. And uh, abdominal scanning can be done, intravenous urography can be done. Okay, CT scan, cystoscopy and biopsy. These are the testers. Okay, now management. 
we know for uh, pulmonary tuberculosis we will be giving management this is the same bacteria it is affecting right so anti tuberculin drug will be uh, giving okay and it will be given at least for 6 months and it can be extended for 9 to 12 months also okay and then all symptomatic treatment will be given for the patient i hope you all understood this topic okay only thing is you have to be focusing in your pathophysiology fine rest everything is somewhat same with the other conditions clinical manifestations also and management anti tuberculin drugs at least for 6 months and it can be extended to the 9 to 12 months as per the severity of affection as well as symptomatic treatment i hope you all understood okay if there is any doubt please get back to me okay have a nice day take care bye